Have you ever seen Star Trek The Next Generation? Or Voyager, one of the newer versions of Star Trek, and they've got those food replicators? Let me show you. Computer, one slice of New York cheesecake. This is an old Earth delicacy. Wouldn't that be awesome? I'm John Loveless, and I have something really cool to show you today. Did you know we have food replicators today? What? Yeah, yeah, we totally do. Granted, they're not as awesome as the ones we see in science fiction, but they replicate food, they're not as fast, and they don't do every kind of food, but they have the ability to replicate food. I actually have one in my hand right here. This one right here will replicate corn. This one right here, peas. Yeah, this has gigabytes of information in it. This is a little pea seed, pea replicator, corn replicator, garbanzo bean, you know, all sorts of different kinds of little seeds there replicate food. And the way this works is you take one of these memory, these uh, little storage devices with gigabytes of information in them, and you, pl you put them in the growing medium, you add fuel, some sort of energy source to them, and nutrients, and it, in about five to ten weeks, depending on the type, it'll replicate. It makes itself, it reproduces itself. Awesome. Now these, there's no patent on them, there's no royalties, you can replicate as many as you want. And then you can take those and replicate more of those. Awesome. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> I just love that. So you guys want to try this? Replicate some, some food. You know what you're going to be eating later on. You know, you might want a tomato. You might want some spinach. You might want some, a salad later. So let's replicate it. Let's make it. I never imagine. Hmm. Oh, I better get another for you. Uh, computer, another slice of cheesecake. Oh, uh, yeah. You guys ready? All right, let's do it. <laughs> 